Hello, Ian Anderson Gray here from Seriously Social. So you've read my article and watched my video, I hope, on how to use Facebook Live from your computer using the free open source software, OBS Studio. But I wanted to go into more detail on how to use the software, some advanced techniques, and to cover things like, you know, what, what is a scene? How do you add layers? Loading in multiple scenes and the tr transitions between them. Perhaps you want to record an interview from Skype and I'll be looking at how to use, to add multiple layers and, and some graphics to that. We'll look at video looping, potential issues when you're using different webcams across multiple applications, which can be a bit of a bit of a struggle look at audio and also how to how to add a lower third graphic so that is where you can put your name and, and your logo perhaps at the bottom of the screen so first of all just i want to make sure that you have downloaded obs studio not the classic obs that's only available for windows and it doesn't integrate so well with facebook live so first of all download obs studio and get that up and running so i'm just going to get mine open now and you'll probably see, yeah, you'll see a picture of me. It'll be a bit laggy. A video will be laggy because I'm recording it. And I want you to look here on the left. I've added quite a few of these scenes. So a scene is kind of what you would expect at a theatre. The, the, the stage has been set a certain way. There will be, perhaps there will be actors on one side of the stage. There'll be a backdrop. There'll be some props on the stage. And you can add multiple sources to a scene so you could add a webcam some graphics perhaps a, a screen share as well and you can add multiple scenes and, and the great thing about that is that you will may want to transition between the different scenes so you may want to have a webcam with some graphics on one scene and then you want to transition to another webcam on another scene so the way you add a scene is by going to the bottom there and add add it by clicking the plus button and then you're asked to add in the name of the scene. So it's a good idea, obviously, to know what you're going to be adding first. So, for example, you might just want to have your webcam, your main webcam, as your first scene. So let's do that now. Because I've already added this before, I'm going to just add another number on the top of that. And then the screen goes black because there are no, there's nothing in the scene. This is a blank scene.